working in Italy, I was working on bronzes and I was painting oils on canvas, paper pieces. But the canvases I brought, like like these ones here that I'm working on, were um, very, very raw, rough cotton canvases that were unprimed. I'd spent months beforehand just putting really thin layers of oil paint on them, building up the layers and, and trying to get them to look like uh, those old Italian walls even that you see, those old gessoed walls, that effect of years of discoloration and um, the, the idea that time just kind of corrodes to pieces. I wanted that effect. And then once I had that effect, I began to work into them with different images. And this orange piece here is an image that I was trying to, um, it's, a, it's a shape really of something I was struggling with in Ireland and then I, I tried it again here and it turned into a flame. The flames, there were a lot of fires nearby that summer, wildfires, and, and so I was conscious of the fire and I think those flames introduced themselves in, in, in the other paintings, the other landscapes that came that I was working on at the same time, but they're very kind of almost cartoonish or cut out at the bottom of some of the pieces. And then, um, and then I suppose I worked on a big piece where there's, the flames just took off. That piece was done in Ireland. It was finished in Ireland. A lot of, there's a snake in it, there's snake imagery everywhere. I saw a real snake uh, when I was on a walk in Italy. I saw this like little snake slithering across the path. And, uh, and I've been looking at snakes a lot since looking at museums in London and Berlin, just where, you know, where I've been looking at a lot of good old art. And, and I see a lot of snake imagery and I've been using it myself in drawings. I've never used it in an oil painting. But in, in this big piece, um, I started using, I tried it and it worked. I think it worked.